got big guns that is pitching hole. Little attitude. We spend at midnight, but it's on site when it's afternoon. Bitch, I go beast mode. This is gonna be my gimme god guard build for 2k21 this is going to be the build that i'm going to be using so what you see here is that i picked right-handed because i always use right-handed but it wants to be a shooting guard do not make it a point guard make it a shooting guard so you will make the exact build i make all right so what you do here is you go down to the peer playmaking pie chart peer playmaking pie chart click it boom you don't need the vertical because this is going to be an iso and shooting build mainly it's not going to be a driving build so what you want to do is just pick the first one so you have the most speed and acceleration these are going to be your stats you can pause it to um check them but these are going to be your stats you have an 88 driving dump uh driving layup 88 driving layup you can get very good layups with it you know how to do the new pro stick layup you could do those or you could do regular layups when you take the meter off whichever you're driving dunk you're not going to be wanting to drive and dunk the whole time because you're more of an iso shooting build so the driving dunk you just put up just so you can have it there that's why i did it now your mid range shot and your three point shot automatically max it out because you want to have the most for both of them just so you can shoot the free throw, I maxed it out so I could get more badges. You don't really need the free throw on park. Post fade, I put it to a 65 so I could get the 16 badges. So I could put the 16 badges and have, um, what's it called? Have a decent amount in all the shooting so you get your badges up. Pass accuracy and ball handle, only thing you need to put up. You're not going to be doing no post moves. But you want to max them out, your ball handle and pass accuracy, just because you'll have the most amount. And it'll increase you you'll be able to dribble. great i promise you i've made this build and tested it out your interior defense you just want to max it out because you never know you might be in the paint i know with the 50 last year on a 50 interior defense it worked decent i'm not sure how it's going to do this year but other than that the rest of it it's just no question you need to max it out the way you could so this is where where is it i'm going with defined this is where it gets a little tricky. This is what you need. You need to follow these exact steps to make the certain build. If you make them 6-7, your ball handle goes all the way down to 85, which you do not want. And look at your speed and acceleration. Your driving layup goes down and your shot. What you want to do is you want to go down 6-6. Six, six. You want to go down 6-6, six, six, boys. That's what you want to do. It's going to bring down your ball handle. But we're going to fix that in a second. Everything else is going to be fine. It only brought down your three-point shot one. But watch. Wait. I'm Take all the weight down. You want to be one. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, you want to be 180 pounds. Yeah, 180 pounds. Your wingspan, you bring it down to right there. So you'll have a 90 ball handle still. You'll still be able to speed boost. Your defense comes down a little bit, but nothing too major. Your driving dunk does come down to a 68. But like I said, this isn't a dunking build, a contact dunk build. You do not want that. But look, we got back to the mid-range shot back up, and the three-point shot is not a 75 no more. It's 76 now. So we duck down two or three on the um, ball handle and gained um, one on the three-point shot, which will help you, I promise. And your strength goes up just a little bit. Your speed, everything's the same. Now here, you can only get two takeover things. If you want to get shot creator takeover, you can, but I, per what I'm preferring and what I'm using is the playmaking takeover because you'll be ball handled, you'll have better stamina, and also, guys, see, mid-range playmaker right there. Simple. So, look, what I do for my badges here is I come and put on fancy footwork. The hop steps before, nasty. My shooting badges, there's no more quick draw in there, no more, guys. No more quick draw. So what you do, max out your range extender. Max out hot zone hunter. These are just my badges that I prefer. You guys do not have to use these ones. If you guys do not want to. These are just the best badges that I use. These are the badges that I use without quick draw. Now, I tested them. They are the best to me. Now your playmaking badges. This is going to be... Look at your playmaking badges right here, guys. 
These are just the way I do my playmaking badges. These are just the way I do my playmaking badges. Stop and go. No, where is he? Oh, down there. Then we'll add that to there. These are just the way I'm gonna be using my badges. Cause you have 29 badges. That that's more than plenty playmaking. And for my defensive badges, I do clamps, chase down, intimidator, pick dodger. Those are my badges, guys.